Christian truth does not exist in an isolated, sealed chamber called religion. It is true truth about the world because God is the creator of the world. And therefore, Christ is Lord, not just of my religion, but of my life, because he's the Lord of the world. Uh, no distinction can be made between sacred and secular that isn't arbitrary. C.S. Lewis uh, expressed the truth starkly, but very accurately. There is no neutral ground in the universe, he said. Every square inch, every split second is claimed by God and counterclaimed by Satan. Uh, I like to quote C.S. Lewis because if I quote C.S. Lewis in one of my lessons, I'm guaranteed that there will be at least one sentence that's actually worth hearing. There is no neutral ground in the universe. Every square inch, every split second, you could say every atom, electron, and neutron, and proton, and quark, is claimed by God and counterclaimed by Satan. And J. Gresham Machen put it this way, the field of Christianity is the world. The Christian cannot be satisfied so long as any human activity is either opposed to Christ or out of connection with Christ. Now, if what Lewis and Machen said is true, then being a Christian would make a difference in every area of life. See, back in the middle of the 20th century, we didn't really think we had to think about it. Uh, we, we were easily able to think being a Christian was something that we mainly did on Sunday. And the rest of the week, we didn't really need to be that different from the world. Maybe just a little bit more honest, a little bit more moral. If we were fundamentalists, not, you know, enjoying alcohol or tobacco or movies. But uh, it, it seemed like we didn't need to be that different from the rest of the world. 